Hello, and welcome back to my Dark Souls playthrough. Um, last time we did the tutorial and did a few of the preparations. Got the Firekeeper's soul down in New Londo Ruins. And yeah, that's all we did down there. And, uh, I think now I'm going to show you a couple more items you can get there in the graveyard with all the skeletons. This will be another suicide run, or, well, last one wasn't a suicide run, but this one will be. Unless I can somehow miraculously make it out of there. So we're going to go back down here, where we found that those chests full of stuff. And we're going to go down here. Or, well, jump down here. Now, just ignore the skeletons that come to life. I'm going to grab this. Our soul. Run around here. Dodge them. This. this is this Y-hander. Great weapon. And this is the Winged Spear. Also another really good weapon. And now... Uh-oh. Ah, crap. Yep. Oh, I'm alive. I don't know how. And last item I'm gonna get before I die. I might be able to make it out of here. Yep. I'm gonna try. said I don't have sufficient stats to wield this weapon. You notice I need to have 13 strength, and I have to have 15 dexterity. And I have 12 strength and 12 dexterity. So, I can't effectively wield that weapon. Um, and the uh, Zweihander has to have 10 dexterity, which I have 12, but it needs to have 24 strength. Yeah. Unable to wield this weapon effectively with preset stats. I think if you have enough have a certain amount of strength, like that's 24 strengths needed. I think you need to have like 16 or 18. And it says you can't wield it with one hand, but you can with two. And you can dual hand it. You can actually use it properly. But I won't have enough strength for that for a while, so I'm going to stick with the hand axe here. Now, there is a few more things you can do to start the game just to help you if you're new to the game or early off. There's some good armor you can get in this place called Blight Town. I won't revisit there till later, but I will go and show you, hopefully without dying, show you where and how to get the armor. Um, so we'll go do that real quick, and then we'll actually start playing. So there's a shortcut to Blight Town that's through New Londo Ruins, but to get there you have to have the Master Key. Well, to get there right now, you have to have the Master Key. You can get there later on. But to do this starting game shortcut and stuff, you have to have the Master Key. Right here is Lord Soul. And those are uh, consumable souls. So with those, like say you want to upgrade an item or something and you don't have the souls and don't feel like farming, you can equip one of those in your menu with where your Estus flasks are and equip it and push X and you will consume the souls and get a certain amount of souls from it. So it's good if you don't feel like farming. Now this is Blight Town, known for crappy frame rate. So if we have bad frame rate for a while, I'm sorry. Real quick way to get down here. I'll explain how to do that later. Oh God. I wouldn't recommend killing him, I'm just doing it to avoid him following me. Whoops. 
Okay. I didn't want all that crap following me, so I went ahead and took it out. Um, if you're real new to the game, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Because for here, you're not even supposed to be here yet. I mean, I'm here just to get this uh, armor. down on this tree trunk and uh, not die. <laughs> I want to be a little bit more careful than that and run across it. But we'll try that again. Staircase, across the bridge. Okay, back in, well, almost back in Black Town. Skin, run past these guys. Run past this guy. Probably gonna jinx it, but I haven't really had bad frame rate yet. I didn't get that far into Blight Town, but usually right when you enter, you just get sworn with horrible frame rate. Uh, I'm not gonna bother fighting him again. Just roll, oops. Yeah, roll too much. Alright, I'm good. I don't know how, but I'm good. Let's see if I can. Okay, let's get on that branch. Wow. Ah, crap. <laughs> Once again, got button happy and died. Alright. Sorry for taking up your time. We'll try one more time. I don't think this, ar this is armor I'm going to be using. I might, but it's good to know where it's at. Because, I mean, it does help. I die again. Send that up. Okay. Third time's a charm, right? Time. Well, while I'm up here, I'll get this key. This is the key to New Londo Ruins. 
This is the key that if you don't have the master key, that's what you need to get through that door we went through earlier. So, that's when you go through Blighttown, the, the, another way to get into Blighttown. When you go through that way, then you, uh, you can get that key to make that shortcut. But I didn't go that way, so, okay, I'm just going to roll down, and I'm going to drop down, and I'm not going to die. Very carefully. Walk over here and walk around here. I'm gonna guard. Do not get destroyed by this guy. Got it. Alright. Now the armor is right here. It's the crimson set, and it also comes with a catalyst. And this is a sorcery. So that was the armor set I wanted to show you. Uh, I'm gonna try one more thing. There's actually another Firekeeper soul down here, and I'm going to try to get it. Probably not going to succeed, but I have nothing to lose, so I'm going to screw around and try. There's some dogs in here, and I got wrecked. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those wreck you. But I'm not going to go back for that Firekeeper soul right now. I'll go do that later. I really just wanted to show you the Crimson set sorcery. Well, let me show you. That's the stats of the hood. Which, I mean, compared to your... If you're starting as a pyromancer like me, compared to the tattered cloth, it starts out better. And the crimson robe. Uh, gloves aren't b any better than the manchetti. Or manchette. And then the waist cloth's a lot better. So, eh. It's heavier, too. But... It's good starting gear. So, if you have the patience to go through Blight Town early and try to get it, then by all means, have at it. I'm gonna decide if I want to wear a part of it. So, I'll rate that 88. Sorry. While I'm on this screen, if you notice in the middle column it says HP, stamina, equipment load. What I'm looking at for the armor is in the third, below the second line, third little area has like physical defense. Now, um, this armor, say I equip the entire set, my physical defense with the tattered cloth robe set, or the pyromancer set, was 77. Uh, if I equip the entire crimson set, boosts it to 104. So you can